guys, welcome back to Ashley and Pete Travels. It's Ashley and Marie Travels. It's raining. She's kind of mad that she got wet, but we're in right. Nassau, Bahamas, right. drenched. Nassau, Bahamas, checking out things that are not beach. Welcome, old friends. Hello, new friends. Let's go on a Bahamian adventure together again. We're walking to the Chocolate Factory, which is kind of right up this hill. It's a little bit of a walk. I've never walked here. It's not bad. <laughs> and we made it to the Chocolate Factory. You ready for some chocolate? We're going in. That's like popcorn. Ooh. Whoa, this is all new. This was this tiny little building before. Oh. This place changed so much since I was here in 2019. Of course we would like a sample of your chocolate. Oh man. Oh. The best chocolate. Chocolate Factory. See? So that already happens. So we have to fill it. No, you don't want to. And then you can buy this, right? Mm -hmm. So we just got done our tour at Great Cliff and it was fun. We couldn't take a whole ton of videos inside, but uh, we did manage to get a couple of videos of the chocolate which was absolutely fantastic. And if you're ever in Nassau, come to Great Cliff because the chocolate here is so good. Now it's not grown here. It's actually, um, it comes over dried from Ghana and they kind of melt it down and combine it with milk and make it here. Oh, those are so cute. And I really want one. So I wish this had smell vision because it smells so good in here, like popcorn and dark chocolate. Yeah. Well, now that we're finished at Grey Cliff, it's just a short, maybe two block walk to John Watling's distillery. That's where we're headed next. You ready, Mom? No. Okay, she's ready. <laughs> now this wall right here, apparently there was an old hospital back here. Now it's kind of an art center um, in Nassau. It is really neat. You can kind of see it up there now. But it looks like back in the day that used to be a hospital and now it's filled with art. <laughs> awesome. And here is John Watling's The Distillery. We're gonna head on in and check it out. Oh my God. Whoa. Turtle vodka is made from sugar cane instead. Ah, so it's mm -hmm. actually gluten-free. Huh. Listen up. That's what? Two to ten years. So the barrels are ones to use bourbon, whiskey, mojitos, tropical cocktails, anything like Come on. That's the one touching. I hate it. <laughs> Come on. 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 Made it to John Watling's. We got a little pina colada sample, which is so good. Marie is over here enjoying hers, and we're gonna taste some of them now. Mm. All right, I'm gonna try the pale. The pale is the, the cheapest one. Oh yeah. Ooh. What do you think of what do you think of the uh, Buena Vista? Ooh, that face. Went down the wrong place. <laughs> <laughs> no, I thought that one was that that one was really good. It's got I swished it in my mouth and it's got like a caramel flavor. Ooh. 
Yep, that's a good one. I didn't even cough. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> that whole thing to make um, old fashions. Well, John Watlings was fun. We got to sample all of their products, which was great. And the house behind us was actually built in 1789. Here's another one of my go-to places. It's called Tasty Teas. And there's spices and teas. Lots of different teas. Which one did I just try? I just tried the sour sop, which was really good. But my favorite tea here, I think it's so funny. The 21 Gun Salute. That one's for boys or guys or men, whatever. So that's Tasty Teas, a really cool place to get teas and stuff like that. Love that place and I got some seasoning. It's like a tour going by, a little four-wheeler tour, that's kind of cool. Another kind of um, art style in the Bahamas is called Junkaroo. If you ever wanted to check out the Junkaroo Museum, it's right down the street from John Watling's. All right, we're back to like the tourist area. This is right by all the ships, a lot of like different places to go buy t-shirts and souvenirs and knickknacks and this is it. I think it's Bay Street, pretty sure. Yes, it is Bay Street. I don't really know what this is, but we did find a building. Pretty cool. The last place that we're going to in Nassau is called the Queen Staircase. It's just a short walk from the ports and a straight walk up. <laughs> so I'm going to try to do it. I know my mom's not going to try to do it. But you know what? I came this far. See how far I get up these steps. That is so pretty. Look at that. That's really neat. Royalty! <laughs> this is a big staircase built between 1793 and 1794, dedicated to Queen Victoria. I don't know if she ever walked up it, <laughs> but it's here. Wow, that is... That is amazing. So there you go. Queen staircase. <sighs> if Queen Victoria did that, she too would be out of breath. So at the top of the Queen staircase, there's not only a straw market, there's also a little fort here. Fort Finn Castle. How cool. So yeah, last time I was in Nassau, I did not know there was a fort at the top of the hill up here. And he just said, for right now, this is the highest elevation on the island yeah, at Fort. Year old lady made it. We, she made it up the Ste yeah. <laughs> Queen Staircase. And I dragged her all lady. around. Oh, my new hat. Ahoy. Ahoy. At this time, we're walking back to the ship. It's only about noon, but we did everything. Yeah. We did everything that we kind of wanted to do on the island, and uh, it was a lot of fun. Heading back to the ship, there's actually five ships in port, which is crazy. And the whole port is brand new. I'll show you guys that before we sign off, but uh, welcome back now. All the buildings here are really neat. They're, they're really old, historic. I do enjoy walking around around here. So then right over here is an option that a lot of cruise goers go to is Atlantis. You can see that pink building in the distance. That's where a lot of people go on uh, excursions. So we're making our way back to the ship and here's the little port city I was talking about. Oh, they got one of those 360 photo booth thingies. That's kind of fun. There it goes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, this was not here in 2019. This was all built up. This whole port is new. It looks really nice. It's just keep in mind some of these shops here are gonna be obviously more expensive than you're gonna see on, you know, in the town. And there's our ship, right next to the Disney Wish. There's one, two, three, four, five, six ships in port. That is crazy. Oh, made it back to the boat and we're greeted by swans. Thanks for watching our little tour of Nassau. It wasn't too long, hopefully, and I hope you enjoyed. Stay tuned for more and it's gonna be a lot more cruises, guys. Ahoy. Ahoy. <laughs>